their besties. There's another story of a woman who claims that she got swindled from her doctor husband. Let's take a look. Shout out to the Daily Mail UK. I thought my doctor husband was Prince Charming. Then I found out he was a serial fraudster who conned me of $1.4 million and had left a trail of broken women in his wake. Mm, mm, mm. How does this happen? Shariza Jackson, 44, knew Dorian Wilkerson from high school. Oh, so they knew each other for a time. In 2014, the pair reconnected when Wilkerson reached out to her on Facebook. Two years later, they wed in front of 200 family and friends in Fort Lauderdale. But in 2022, Jackson discovered the man of her dreams was not the person she thought he was, but an alleged serial predator who conned her out of her retirement fund, a business investment, and multiple loans. Mm, mm, mm. Let's hear what she has to say. Let me just go ahead and just wait, get all the facts, and see. When Dorian Wilkerson got back in touch with Shariza Jackson 20 years after they first met, she thought she had finally found her Prince Charming until the whirlwind romance turned into a real-life nightmare. Jackson, 44, had initially known Wilkerson in high school and decades later remembered him as good-looking and a great athlete who played football and ran track. Mm-hmm. In 2014, his clean-cut image and her fond memories came flooding back when he contacted her on Facebook. She was at a high point in her life and quickly started to believe Wilkerson was the only missing puzzle piece. Oh. She told Daily Mail how excited she was when he told her about his work as a doctor at Emory Hospital, overjoyed to have, some, to have found someone she believed shared her work ethic. But she claims their love turned sour when Jackson uncovered a slew of dirty secrets that her husband of six years had been hiding from her, leaving her devastated and by her own estimation, at least 1.4 million poor. Wilkerson was in fact no doctor. Mm. 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 She claims her supposed knight in shining armor was nothing more than a serial fraudster who had been charged with assault and battery, family uh, issues, stalking, theft and extortion. And she alleges she was far from the first victim of his deceit. Other women emerged saying he had swindled them too. Looking like she happy though. She got my man. I got my man. Mm -hmm. This is the wedding. Hey, hey. Nice, 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 nice. Prince Charming. Okay. In March this year, she filed for divorce and in October filed a civil suit, which we have learned. Civil means money not criminal because if he did something criminal why aren't you filing a criminal suit civil means you want some money in october filed a civil suit claiming that he conned her out of at least one million on top of a four hundred thousand dollar business investment she that Listen, if people can uh, say that the business investment went bad, then that means that anyone that has lost money in anything where they gave money to should be able to sue then as well, right? Because the odds are, if he allegedly really did swindle out of you, do you think that any of the money that he has is legal? I'm just saying, what do I know? In the lead up to the pair of reconnecting, the single mother, oh, Lord, 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 Lord. In the lead up to the pair reconnecting, the single mother was raising two teenage daughters alone while working at a Fortune 500 healthcare company as a regional director. She owned her own home and had lux two luxury cars and was also a published author. Jackson claims the first time they spoke, he told her that he was a medical doctor at Emory Hospital and ATL and an epidemiologist for the CDC. She liked that he was accomplished, hardworking, and like herself, was passionate about philanthropy. So in other words, he probably studied up on her, told her what it is that she wanted to know based off of all the outward complaints. I'm allegedly, 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 allegedly. But maybe if she was out here running off at the mouth about what it is Crest Dustin Must does and what it is she looking for and it's not right, it's not fair. And he just paid attention and did that. Sounds like it might be quite easy. I could, I, listen, this is just my conjecture. I don't know nothing. I don't know these people. I don't know nothing. At the time, he was living in ATL and she was in Florida, but during a business trip she had to take across state, the pair finally met up. She claims he had picked her up in a Bentley at her hotel and he was wearing medical scrubs. So, there you go, y'all. Long as you can be picked up in a Bentley, then that means the story is true, child. Did you go to any work events, ma'am? Did you meet any of his co-workers? Were you able to go visit the hospital when he was there? Talk to a few people there? We shall see. We shall see. 
Before their dinner date, he allegedly took her back to his apartment, a beautiful loft with stunning views of the park so he could get changed. It didn't take long for Jackson to become smitten, child, not smitten. She became smitten, maybe that night, allegedly, allegedly, allegedly. She says he was intrigued by her and they appeared to share many of the same values. I bet they did. Wilkerson reminded her of her military father with whom she, with whom she has a close relationship. He was tall, dark, and handsome, and he was very well accomplished. Clearly he wasn't. She said he was not just an MD, but also a PhD. Shout out to the ABCD PhDs and MDs out here. <laughs> and attended these prestigious universities and would lecture around the country on vaccines and infectious disease. Well, shout out to C-19. After kissing many toes, she toes. After kissing many toes, she thought she had found her Prince Charming. Mm-hmm. Prince Charming with the Bentley, with the loft view, with the alleged money and fine suits and the prestige, because you know, all that stuff is what matters at the end of the day. Mm-hmm. She claims he was loving and attentive, putting her on a pedestal and showering her with gifts and lavish trips. Oh, girl, did you ever make it to the hospital, though? That's what I want to know. On November 27, 2016, the pair wed at an exclusive venue in Fort Lauderdale in front of 200 friends and family members. Her two adult daughters were so taken by the man their mother loved, they legally changed their last names to match their stepdad. This sounds very familiar. Who, who, who did something similar? I'm going to let y'all figure that out. I'm sure you know. The one-time power couple is pictured at their cosmetic medical center. Best You Now in 2019, the center, which was closed in 22, provided procedures including tummy tucks, breast augmentation, and Brazilian butt lifts. A year into their wedded bliss, she allegedly supported him and opened in the center, but became concerned when it repeatedly failed to turn a profit. Mm -hmm. Keep going for the money, y'all. Keep going for the money. If it wasn't for the money. A year into their wedded bliss, she says she supported him in opening a cosmetic center that would offer, okay. She claims his role at the center would be bringing the doctors in to do the procedures and manage the day-to-day operations. Well, what were you doing? Jackson, who was busy working her day job, mm -hmm, claims she financially invested in Best You Now, which would be located in Broad County, Florida. Well, it sounds like you invested. And when you invest, you take a chance on whether you're going to win or whether you're going to lose. At his insistence, she allegedly gave him the funds to get started by emptying her savings account in 401k. Ma'am. Child, mm, mm, mm. because he had all this money allegedly, y'all. She said, I'll give up all my money because I know you got all this money. Ma'am, did you see the bank accounts? Were you even on his bank accounts? Did you know where the money was going? Did you see any checks? Did you see any income? Did you see where the money was coming from? And yet again, did you go to the hospital where he worked at? Did you meet any of those doctors and nurses or anything like that? I don't hear none of that in the story. I don't hear none of that in the story. Woo. She estimates this figure overall grew to as much as $400,000. She claims she wasn't actively involved in their business. Mm, mm, mm. You're not going to be involved in a business where you're giving up $400,000, child. You getting $400 from me. I want to know. I want to know it all, child. I want to know it all. She claims she wasn't actively involved in their business at first, but eventually she noticed that the center was losing money despite having a full roster of client bookings. You know why she was looking into it then? She started looking into it allegedly, allegedly, allegedly because the money wasn't coming in so that she could get them shoes that you saw in that last picture and buy them clothes and go on them lavish trips and do all the things that she was used to doing. So now it becomes a problem because the good stuff, the good times was not as good as they used to be. Mm, mm, mm. Then all of a sudden she want to get involved. Um, where my $400,000 go? To help their investment and keep their business afloat, she says she left her corporate job to devote. Oh, no. So you left a good paying job, a firm job in place to go deal with something that was allegedly potentially failing. Wow. I tell you, shout out to the ABCD PhDs and MDs. Y'all are doing the damn 
thing. When she started, wait, 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 wait. Yeah, when she started questioning Wilkerson about missing money, she claims he had an answer for everything. She began believing he was a master manipulator. Was he a master manipulator or were you a dummy? I'm just asking questions. As their romance began to unravel, she said she started to hear stories about Wilkerson stealing money from other people. Hmm. Several women who were allegedly deceived by Wilkerson reached out to tell her that he's a dangerous person and is not who he says he is. They warned her to be very careful. One woman who told Jackson that she is friends with Wilkerson's first ex-wife sent her a text that Jackson shared with DailyMail.com. She described Wilkerson as a master con artist. I have known him for 16 years and he has always been a liar and a con. Re- imagine saying that you knew someone that wasn't related to you, y'all, but they were, you was friends with a con artist and a liar for 16 damn years. It's one thing if you're related to someone. It's something different if you choose to continue to have a friendship, a relationship, or whatever with someone that you know has been a liar and a con artist for 16 years. But you know, crust, dust, and must. But y'all be out here doing the most for crust, dust, and must. Let's just call a spade a spade. It's always about the money and what you can get. And I mean, even though this woman was giving, she was giving to the man because of the way that he presented himself like having everything. I'm still asking where and when did you go to his hospital to meet all the people that he was working with? That's all I'm saying. Increasingly anxious at realizing the man she fell in love with seemed to be a con artist. Jackson's worst fears were realized. She says when she allegedly saw a text he'd sent to a male friend saying he didn't need her anymore because she's broke. (laughs) Wait, she's, he sent it to a male friend saying he didn't need her anymore because she's broke. Oh, maybe talking about the wife. Dr. Dorian, mm, they gave her all his information, child. Mm. Mm, he got mug shots, child. Jackson began digging into her husband. She was appalled to discover he was a convicted felon. Ma'am. Ma'am. It's not funny. It's not funny. What is going on? I can't. He had been arrested for fraud in 2002, battery and assault in 2007, and battery, assault, and family violence in 2009. It was still on probation. So you could do the background check now all these years later after the 400000 after the million, after the marriage, after having the kids be adopted, after having the kids in his life, after all that good pleasure. Yeah. After investing in the business, now you're losing money and the good times ain't there. Now, all of a sudden, you do the background check. Got it, sis. Got it. She obtained a report of his criminal history that dates back to 2001, provided to the Daily Mail that was obtained through the clerk of courts in AC, shout out to Atlantic City, and clerk of courts in Georgia, where he was facing a domestic battery charge. Woo-cha! In August 2001, felony charges were filed against him for theft and extortion. Damn, more than 75000 in Atlantic City. He pled guilty and was convicted September 6, 2002 and was placed on probation. Mm, mm, mm. In February 2007, he was booked on simple battery and released from prison on 5000 bail. That was in Fulton County. Shout out to Quantavius. In February 2009, he was arrested for simple battery, family violence, and was released from prison on $10,000 bail, according to records from the Fulton County Sheriff's Department in Georgia. He was charged in August 2017 for speeding in Broad County, Florida, and for careless driving in Pembroke Pines in January 2020. According to court documents from the Broad County Court of Clerks, Wilkerson hasn't been employed since December 2022. Mm -mm -mm. she claims to have uncovered more disturbing evidence which included wilkerson being fined for pretending to be a medical physician so then i'm gonna go ahead and assume that she never went to the hospital jackson says when she confronted him he filed a bogus police report against her having to do with their joint finances and tried to get her arrested (laughs) i'm sorry it's not funny but this is so stupid Oh, he'd always play the victim often and blame others. The audacity. The woman who believed that some man was a doctor because he showed up in a Bentley and had a nice house is going to talk about somebody playing the damn victim. Mm, mm, mm. She shared an audio recording of her speaking with a former employee, informing her that Wilkinson was signing her name and then the name of two other doctors from their cosmetic center on documents. Upon learning this, she also learned he was using her credit to access hundreds of thousands of dollars in her name. 
She tried to file a restraining order against him, concerned for her safety and the safety of her two daughters, but was told the case is a civil matter that needed to be handled in the divorce proceedings. So they said, go, go. Now you concerned, child. Mm, mm, mm. God damn it. You can't make this shit up. His claim of being a medical doctor also turned out to be a part of the web of deceit. On the Cosmetic Center's Best You Now website, Wilkerson was referred to as a doctor body and a re rejuvenation specialist and cosmetic analyst, but online records do not show him holding a medical license in the state of Florida or Georgia, contrary to his LinkedIn profile. How about that? Ma'am, did you see Did you see any of those uh, plaques that they have uh, standing up behind him in the office or anything? Oh, yeah, you didn't go to the office. You just took his word for it, child. Mm, mm, mm. In October 2017, the Florida Department of Health sent Wilkerson a cease and desist letter. It states the department has probable cause to believe that Wilkerson is not licensed by the department or the Board of Medicine and is practicing medicine and leading the public to believe he is a medical doctor. The document was signed by the State Surgeon General of Florida. A CDC and prevention official told Daily Mail, there is no record of Dorian Wilkerson in any of their current CDC employee directories. Oh, Lord, y'all, successful women get played too. Child, successful, non-successful, no matter what the race is, all y'all getting played because you're too busy looking for the wrong damn thing. You played yourself at the end of the day. In December 2022, she says they closed the business. When people start finding out about him, he tries to silence them and goes after their livelihood and freedom. She added, nothing ever happens to him, and he continues to swindle women and business owners and scares them so they don't come for him. That just honestly, most of the time shows the desperiosity of women. I have to be honest that any man could just come out here and say anything. As long as he dresses the part, y'all believe it. You take it at face value and then turn around and try to be looked uh, like somebody did something wrong to you. No, you just went ahead and believed anything and you didn't check into it because all you saw was the money, ma'am. I hope you admit that in your daggone book. Sheesh. It don't even make sense that some man said that he was a doctor and you never met a person who he was doctoring with. I'll put it that way. Jackson believes Wilkinson is currently living with another woman. Of course he is. Duh. Child, that's her, that's her Prince Charming. She over there saying the same damn thing as you said. Because while you out here saying that you don't want a man, you don't need a man, you can do good all by yourself. I got a business. I make $5 million a month. Somehow, some way, you still got swindled. Woo. Florida divorce attorney Nydia Streets is handling the case in the divorce filing obtained by Daily Mail. Jackson made several allegations, including her husband's forged, her husband forged wife's name on documents to obtain loans for his own personal gain. Mm, mm, mm. She claimed Wilkerson has a pattern of defrauding women and leaving them with high debt once he feels he can no longer benefit from them anymore. Documents state that wife became aware husband was previously convicted for fraud, a conviction, a conviction which husband downplayed about which about and about which he misled wife. According to the filing, she claimed husband event went so far as to fabricate parts of his past to wife. For example, husband misrepresented that he was formerly an epidemiologist with the CDC. Child, did he go to work? Always easy to blame somebody else when you're just... Anyway, she alleged that he committed adultery throughout their marriage. Of course he did. He's another one which allegedly, when you thought he had a bunch of money, y'all are out of your damn minds. Y'all didn't want to listen to Kevin Samuels for sugar honey iced tea. And he's being proven right every damn day while y'all continue to fail and blame someone else, not accepting accountability for nothing. You wanted the money. You wanted that life. You got it. You got it. You did no background check. You did no looking into anything that would have made sense. The simplest of things like going to his place of employment. Like, come on now. That sounds so damn dumb. She should be ashamed of herself to even bring this daggone thing to the damn media. She should take this L in, in private. So yeah, I got, I got a little bit of you looking half damn crazy out here. This on you. Yeah, he is definitely a pain in the ass and he got some issues, but you're so smart and you got it going on. You didn't do your due diligence. Y'all expect to get every damn thing like put at your feet or something. You don't have to do no work. 
You just all of a sudden you believe in everything, but then you're out here on the internet, not necessarily this woman, everybody over here talking about what they're not going to do, what they're not going to do, what they're not going to do. Well, how the hell do these stories keep happening? Somebody doing something around her. I'm just saying, but what the hell do I know? I'm just a associate's degree person and I don't know sugar, honey, I see child, but let me tell you what I do know. Yes. Tell me you a damn doctor. We need to go meet McDreamy and McSteamy in order for me to believe it. That's it. That's all. If you made it this far, I do appreciate you. Go ahead and hit the subscribe button, hit the like button and make a comment. I see you all in the next one. We do not care.